All right, welcome everyone. Today I'll be presenting on Paddle versus Pickleball, the rise of Paddle in Panama. This presentation will explore the growing popularity of both sports in Panama with a special focus on the rapid rise of paddle courts and players in the country. So we're gonna go through real quick through paddle facilities, Pickleball facilities and age demographics. Let's uh, delve into the pedal facilities. As of 2024, there are approximately 16 pedal clubs in Panama, featuring combined total of around 50 individual pedal courts. This indicates a strong infrastructure supporting the sport's growth. Moving on to pickleball, there are three main clubs in Panama, with three courts, two courts, and three courts uh, respectively. The Total number of courts is eight, showing a smaller yet present interest in the sports. The majority of the folks are converting the old basketball courts as a makeshift facilities, but no dedicated clubs. So here's the map presentation of pickleball and paddle facilities in uh, Panama City. I'll uh, get out the presentation and go into the Google Maps so you can see for yourself. So this is Paddle Panama. There are plenty of facilities there. And I will put Pickle Ball Panama and we'll get some in the converted pickleball courts there. Let's do this Pickleball Highway. There you go. So I see it's a basketball court converted into uh, temporary conversion into the pickleball courts, but uh, nothing in uh, Panama City. See, it's just a road. And if you do paddle, you see plenty of facilities. Big professional facilities with multiple courts, waiting areas, and so on. Let's go into a couple of more. Anyway, back to the presentation. Paddle's growing popularity. The increasing popularity of paddle in Panama is evident with the growing number of facilities across the country. As of 2024, there are 16 paddle clubs featuring around 50 individual courts. This showcases a rising interest in the sport among the Panamanian population. Player demographics. Uh, paddle in Panama affects players from a wide range of age groups reflecting the sport's board appeal. The largest portion of players are in their 30s and 40s, mirroring global trends. This age distribution is consistent with the pattern observed worldwide. And it's quite popular around the world as well. This chart on the right uh, shows that. Pickleball player demographics. The majority of pickleball players in Panama are seniors reflecting the global trend of the sport, attracting significant number of players over 55. Maybe it's also because uh, Panama is the retirement, retiring destination for lots of uh, uh, Americans and Canadians. However, there is a growing interest in participation in the sport among younger adults as well. So here are just a few pictures that I uh, pulled off the internet um, after typing in pickleball and, uh, and paddle. On top, you see uh, pedal players uh, that are usually younger. And the internet doesn't lie, as they say. And the pictures below show the general demographic of uh, pickleball players. In comparing the two sports, paddle sees an 80% player growth compared to pickleball's 20. Additionally, 85% of the courts in Panama are dedicated to paddle, while 15% uh, are for pickleball. This data underscores significant rise of paddle in the country. Finally, paddle is inherently more dynamic compared to pickleball. The player base for paddle in Panama is notably younger. 
and more diverse, reflecting a growing interest among a wider range of age groups. The dynamic nature contributes to its rapid rise in popularity. So I created this presentation just to show the comparison because a lot of Canadians and Americans coming to Panama uh, sticking with pickleball or sticking to the expat communities uh, um, would love to see more people venture out and checking out paddle as a game and paddle clubs in uh, general and hopefully there will be more cross uh, pollination between the two poor sports thank you